Hello and welcome to this Panel Pilot Ace Quick Guide video. In this video we'll be giving you a quick guide on how to use the Logic Builder. The Logic Builder allows you to select one of two possible actions based on the properties of several elements within your application. This is done by creating a logic statement which performs one action if the statement returns true or another action if the statement returns false. In order to use this element, you need to first trigger it, much in the same way you'd use an action element. This can be done either through a hardware trigger, so when a specific external input element is changed, or through the use of a timer, which will allow you to call it at a regular interval based on the timer's settings. Once it's been called, you'll then need to specify several actions, so one that will occur when it's true, and one that will occur when it's false. However, only one of these actually needs to be selected uh, in order for it to work. So next, I'll just quickly talk you through all of the different elements you can select. So as you can see, I've already thrown one together here, uh, and all this does is check to see whether the digital switch alert which is the exclamation mark here which is a text box and I'm checking whether it's visible so as you can see it's visible property equals true uh, however there are several other things that we could use within these boxes uh, for example a variable so these are your project variables here uh, I don't actually have any in this project at the moment so I won't be able to select any but if you have created one, then you'll be able to select it here and test its properties, uh, its value. Next up, you have properties, much like what I just used. This can be any visual element, and each visual element has its own specific properties which you can select from. So, for example, all elements that are visual will have a visible, but not all elements will have a font size. This is limited to a text box. So there will be some that are generic and some that are specific to the uh, type of element. Next you have the constants. So you may want to compare to a number constant, a boolean constant or a string constant. So a number can either be an integer or a floating point value. A boolean can obviously be either true or false. Usually for example the visible property of an element. And a string can be any fixed string. So if you were trying to test the contents of a text box, you could compare it to a fixed string. So now I'll return to the properties. As well as these, there are also several operators which you can use. So if you wanted to combine several statements, you could do so through the use of the AND operator, the OR operator, um, and through the use of brackets as well if they are required for your statement. Um, the AND operator will let you compare so if one is true and the other is true it will still return true. If the OR statement is selected if one is true or the other is true it will return true. Here you have an equals or a not equal to which allows you to compare so for example here visible equals true will make it true if the visibility property is true and not equal will return the opposite and here you have greater than, greater than, equal to, less than and less than or equal to which will give you your comparisons of numerical properties all very self-explanatory finally I will just talk you through how to do slightly more complicated behavior for example if else if statements so instead of having an action as your other element, what you could actually do is have another logic builder as your false element. So for example, if you wanted to make the warning red if the voltage was greater than 3, yellow if it was greater than 1, or green any other time, then you could create a logic builder that tested if it was greater than 3, and a logic builder that tested if it was greater than 1. If it was greater than 3, you would set the color to red, and then you would set the false element to the logic builder that tested if it was greater than 1. So 
If it's greater than 3, it will perform the color change. If it's not, it will test to see if it's greater than 1. And there you can say if it is greater than 1, you should make it yellow. And if it's not, you should make it green. This can be chained any number of times to create a large if else if statement if required. Um, and through this you should be able to create pretty much any logic function you, you need. Thank you for watching, and if you have any other suggestions of quick guide videos you'd like to see in the future, please post them in the comments.